and the recent development in the running shoe um, uh, landscape over the past decade has definitely trended. Onward and upward. We gave it our best shot, everybody. Cheers. Good morning, by the way. How we doing out there? Yeah, welcome back to the studio. Crazy, everyone. The on cloud stratus. I don't know what to tell you. Here it is, bright orange. I actually kind of like the bright orange. Shout out to the Denver Broncos. But Swiss Engineering, all right, this company on ON, for those who have never, it's kind of a newer, you know, new ish company to the running shoe scene. It's fought, you know, they're definitely not, um, I would say they're not as popular. Actually, if you live in Europe, how popular is ON? Let us know in the comments. That's not the question of the day. I'd be curious because here in the States, total side story. Dathan Ritzenhein, all right, uh, Olympian, ran for CU, go Buffs. He is now coaching a professional team just up the road in Boulder, Colorado, and they are sponsored by On. I mean, when I heard that news, I couldn't believe it. It's just crazy. So shout out to Dathan, shout out to the Buffs training up there in Boulder. And here's the deal. It's a neutral, okay, New, we'll do the twist test. Neutral road running shoe, there you go. Not twisting very much. Like I'm putting my, my effort into it and it is, uh, it's pretty, I'll just say kind of rigid, okay? And I am throwing in the towel, everybody. I'm not taking it to 50 miles. I'll tell you that up front. We are, I believe, here it is on Strava, okay? 22 miles. And who remembers when I started testing this shoe? I think it, I think it was late December or early January 2021. I've tried and I've tried. I think I took it out for three or four runs, totaling that 22 miles, and it's just not working for me. So I'm throwing in the towel, but I want to get you a first impression, early review score. Just for anybody who's been waiting for this review, thank you for your patience. Let's dive in. Eight millimeter drop from heel to toe, 28 in the heel, 20 in the forefoot for kind of that medium stack height through that very unique midsole, okay? Look at that crazy midsole. That, that is what On is known for, that cloud technology, which I've got a lot of thoughts on that. Okay, weight, we're looking at women's size eight for 9.7 ounces, 274 grams, men's size nine, 11.1 ounces or 314 grams. And the heartbreaker, here we go, in my size, 10.6, 10.6 ounces in my size, everybody. That is, um, that is not good. Okay, 3.5 out of 10 for the weight in, uh, I, I don't know what's going, well, I do know one thing, how they could reduce the weight. Let's actually dive into it right now. The upper, they've got this huge, crazy piece of plastic on the heel counter that is just, I'm sure, adding an ounce. I don't even know, like, if, actually, it'd be interesting to pull that off, but it's right there on the heel counter and I just, personally for me, it's too much. But for the rest of the upper, it's an engineered mesh. And I gotta say, I'm, outside of the heel counter, I'm, a, I'm quite a bit more excited about the rest of the upper, especially the star lacing system. So a very unique lacing system down here at the bottom of the eyelet chain. Okay, I'll hold it like this. And the lockdown score, doing pretty great. Eight out of 10. I like it on. And I didn't even really... So what you can do is you can personalize the eyelet chain to your preferences. You can use, there's two, there's two rows of, of holes through the eyelet chain, again, to personalize, to help with that lockdown, to make it, I, I love it. Great job on, again, a little bit of that Swiss engineering. I think it's really, really great. However, the overall score for the upper is, is coming down to 6.5 out of 10, mostly because of this piece of plastic here around the heel counter. I just, uh, it just, it's adding weight. And I think it's, it's just like not necessary. Like it's very, like it, it's a, can you hear that? There you go. All right, that's all you need to hear. Okay, moving on to that midsole. Here we go. So we've got the dual layer cloud technology. Um, so this is what On is known for. A very unique, uh, I don't want to say strange, but, uh, but it is strange to the running shoe landscape where you can literally see through the midsole with these, this cloud, what they call their cloud technology. And here's the deal. Great job on with innovation. Execution, I'm not exactly sure. Actually, I, for me, it's not working. In fact, here's my ride and energy score. I think I gave it a five out of 10, not so good. It's not working for me. And the question of the day is coming up here in a second. On fans, 
help un, help me understand the reaction that your gate cycle and your biomechanics are making to this cloud technology. For me, it's firm and it's not responsive. It's it's a firm like two. It's almost I'd almost put it into the into the hard category. It's just not working for me, and that's probably why I've taken it to 22 miles over the last three to four months. Like even the like the durometer score, my thumb like I am giving all my might, and it's barely it's barely moving. Okay, and I think there's huge potential for this technology for this innovation on. It's just not working. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. So let's let's loosen up. Let's get a little loosey goosey with this midsole on. Like, do, let's not make it as firm. And I think that's part of the reason why it's coming across so heavy is maybe they're injecting too much material into the midsole foam. Okay, 10.6 ounces in my size. So the overall score we're looking at six out of ten for the midsole. For that outsole, we've got the Helion foam plus CloudTech rubber. Uh uh. Again, hard and firm, like really hard and firm. Um, very hard. So not working for, and um, uh, gosh, I mean this, I do, I see what they're going for. Interesting. Okay, sorry, I'm just soaking it in. They've got this speed board on the, underneath the midsole, and I can see it here through this decoupled groove on the outsole. Um, I don't know. Let me just do this real quick. Wow. Whew. So that's why it's a neutral shoe, but it's just, you know, it's twisting, but I'm putting all my might into that twist. Not pleased with the outsole either. Onto the fit, true to size, awesome. Just, you know, coupled with the uh, star lacing system through the upper, awesome. Fit, lockdown, awesome. That's the highlight of the shoe. For the comfort score, five out of 10. Nope, it's hot. Again, back to that firm landing. It's just, it's not working for me for the positive it is that star lacing system and again i didn't even personalize it and tune it because out of the box it just arrived and the eyelet chain was working perfect for me but uh mm, so there are positives for the shoe but there's more drawbacks than positives and onto that durability prediction i think hmm i i gave it 450 but I'm 450 miles. I might bump that up now to like after my last run to about 500 miles. Okay. There's my score for the durability prediction. Pretty standard score. So I think it is going to, I think if you do pick it up, it would go the distance. How will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? Some people, it's I And this is great. Like some people really are not in the soft landing category. They would prefer a firmer landing. Boom. This is your shoe. I think you would enjoy it actually. So I, I don't want to come across as like you have to have a soft landing. You, you, you know, firm landings or harder landings is not for like some people really do prefer that. And the recent development in the running shoe landscape over the past decade has definitely trended toward softer landing, more midsole foam. But a shout out, I'll give a shout, shout out to the to the runners of the 70s and 80s, like when midsoles were very minimal and pretty. You know, they're just it was a it was a piece of you know there wasn't much technology technology or uh, soft landing built into the shoes of the 70s and 80s. And so again, who knows? Maybe you prefer a firm landing. This is the shoe for you. Um, I won't use the shoe. If I were going to take it, it would be so heavy. I, I guess daily trainer if I was going to take it to 50 miles, but I'm not. Price point, mm, $169. Like, oh, come on. No. Five out of 10, I think I gave it for the price point. I probably should have gone even lower, but we'll keep it at five out of 10. A hundred and, no, no, I don't care how much uh, engineering is going into the shoe. It's not, uh, no, it's not worth $169. I'm, oh man, I'm gonna hear it down in the comments and I'm okay with it. I'm just telling, we all, we uh, call it as it is here in the studio. Like I test a lot of shoes and most shoes I'm happy with. I'm not happy with this shoe. Um, other shoes to buy, I'm not even sure what I'll put on the screen. I might put a big fat goose egg, okay? Meaning no shoes, all right? It's like, I just, I don't even know what other, like what other shoes to compare it to, you know, considering the, the weight class that it is falling into. Okay, shoe quick specs, one more time, soak it in on your screen. There it is, all right? And that 22 mile, Full review score coming in with a oh, 5.8 out 
out of 10. Have we ever had a score under six in the studio? I actually don't even, this might be the lowest score. I'm trying to think, there was one other, this might be the lowest score ever here in the studio. So it's not working for me. If it's working for you, let us know down in the comments. Okay, question of the day, here we go. On fans, make your case for the cloud technology. But like, let us, let me know, especially, and I'm not gonna give up on on, beholden to no one. I'm willing to test all running shoes. But for me right now, this guy is just not working, okay? And that comment of the day, a shout out to Texas MH down in the comments. Uh, he or she said, as a new runner, and this is from a couple days ago, but I always like to do the comment of the day. As a new runner, the most benefi beneficial tip I learned in training for my first 50K road race this past weekend is that your most important run is your next one, not the one you are currently doing. Meaning, staying healthy equals consistency equals success. I love that, like, I agree with that in a big, big way. It's all about stacking. And I'll even, I'll even say one more level up, is that stacking not only days in a row, but training blocks in a row. Currently, I'm in my fifth training block in a row with no injuries. And I've said before here in the studio, like six to eight is a great goal. If you can hit six, which is basically two years of training, if you can hit with no injuries, if you can hit six to eight training blocks in a row with no injuries, niggles, you know, that's one thing, but no injuries where you have to stop running, amazing goal to shoot for for runners out, and especially new runners out there. All right, everyone, oh, the heartbreaker in the studio today, the on cloud Stratus, there you go. Love the color, don't love the ride. All right, everyone, we will toss it to, I actually don't have an on playlist because I haven't tested a ton of on shoes, but um, I, I'll try and find an, I, I do have a couple old on running shoe reviews i do believe yeah i'll try i'll find it i'll stick it right there it's an old one but we'll put it right there right there right there all right thanks for tuning in onward and upward seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow